Right, operation remove waterfalls. I've managed to convince Chris that we should go back to the way it was when it worked and when our fish were healthy. Although it doesn't look as nice, just a pipe coming out of the shed into the water. It's cleaner and easier to monitor because like you say, thank you for everyone that gave us their thoughts on the last video. We do agree and all that's coming away, which means the lower decking board should dry out. We're going to clean that, disinfect it safely, dry it out and there'll be no water running there. And hopefully this will help the koi and we'll have to think of something else because obviously under there is a bit of a mess. And then we also need to sort out the skimmer because the skimmer's not working at the minute because we're not using our DIY backy shower because of the risk of bad bacteria. I think it's safe to say don't try and fix what's not broke. The pond was running fantastic for four years and then we decide, oh, we'll put a waterfall in, oh, we'll put a sieve in, oh, we'll put a DIY back shower in, and we've lost 10 fish this year, and we've got fin and ulcer problems. So I think we've learned our lesson to keep it simple from now on, and forget about the cosmetics. At the end of the day, it is about the fish. Right, it's getting demolished. So before we put the waterfall in, down here is full of soil and we had garden plants in that, but it was well away from the pond. So not sure what we'll do there. Either put a backy shower on there or what and decorate it around it with bonsai or something. So back back to square one rid of that and just that ugly pipe in the corner will be coming out the pond out of the pond for now but yeah it is dirty so i think though we're, though we're not happy because we did like our waterfall probably doing the right thing but oh my goodness look at it it's what chris has took out look at all the wood all the dirt on it and like you said it's been working fine and then probably it's just multiplied over the months. This is quite expensive decking as well. This wasn't the cheap being Q stuff. You <laughs> get a picture of all the muck on it. There you go, look at that that we haven't been able to clean off from the green. Watch doesn't go and try not to get in the pond, Chris. I know, dear. Really? So, bye-bye waterfall. Let's put the thinking hat caps on. Anybody get any ideas what we can do? Jazz this up. Right, so the waterfall had the plants in it so they've gone into the wild pond my lovely plant over there that I really like is in the wild pond yeah. at least I'll survive so just the last bit if the waterfall's coming down now poor Chris has just finished work and he's had to spend an hour taking this down so obviously it does look a bit awful and it's just removing that last bit now I've still got some of the antibacterial um, medication that we use so we can rub down that that, that deck in there and then keep the water level just below it there won't be any more splashing I 
Oh great, I've just noticed <laughs> we have to paint the fence now as well. <laughs> I mean, I could help, but I'm filming it. So, that used to be the original pond sides. It's concrete and then painted. So we'll probably deck that out and put some plants along it, make it look presentable till we decide what we're going to do next. We have some baby small tail tits arrived. How cute are they? They're not as pink and fluffy as the adult birds at the minute, but how cute. Now we're just fitting the old piping we used to have on back through the original round hole. And that'll have that'll do temporarily till we sort it out, get the filters going again. And then we'll redeck all that old all the back in. Afterwards. So that's quite far away from the wood, so hopefully we're not going to get as much splash, splash back. We've just fitted it at the back of the shed now, back onto the Lexan. Yeah. We've got a big hole in the shed. So it's up and running now, and we're um, we've got a bit of this left because it might do a full treatment in the pond. So we're just using that on a damp, clean cloth just to wipe down all those deck it, all that deck in there and underneath it, clean it off, and hopefully kill any bacteria that's hanging about. So now it's just the cosmetics again sort out to make it look presentable let's hope this does the trick that we get start seeing don't have this problem again sorry I'll let that be a lesson to everyone if your pond's in good in good working order don't mess with it it's not worth it 